I'm gonna use a Facebook, an Instagram size, and I'm gonna show you how you can have a template made for every new beat you have. You have your own animated logo and the name of your beat site, and throw a good deal in there, and watch how your engagement and even your beat sales will increase. Let's go. Right here, we're gonna make our own logo and the name of our beat site, okay? I just came up with a fictitious name, firebeats.com, and we're gonna go with it. So we're gonna take our animation, and Canva, how you make it bigger is you go to the corners and go this, boom, boom. All right, again, it's an animation video, so that's why it's animated, it's gonna be moving. So we're gonna put it off to the side, okay? Because when someone's listening to your beat, you don't want that to be the main focus, but you still want it to be present because remember, you're building a brand, okay? So let's move it off to the side right here. And let's take our logo, which is a female. So this is even better if you're a female producer. And you're gonna center it. Now you see right there the lines, Canva is a sauce because it lets you know where you're at, no matter where you're at in the canvas. It lets you know if you're centered to anything. So as you can see, that's dope. But let, let, let's say if you want to make the logo a little smaller so you can get more of the white. Boom, see that cross? That's letting you know that you're perfect horizontal and vertically. So we're gonna go with that. The name right here, firebeats.com. So let's come up with a new name, uh, rmbbeats.com. Let's go tracks, let's say tracks. RMBtracks.com. Dot com. Like that. So you always want to put the, the the name of where they can go to get the beat. So let's make it a little smaller. The arrow is going to let you move it no matter where you want it. And let's say we want it right there. Now you see the arrow right there? It lets it's let me know that I'm right on the money. Boom. So let's make that a little bit smaller. Okay, let's move it a little bit more. Right there, oh, right there, boom. All right, now this right here, I'll put 50% off. I'll let you guys see more of it, see? 50% off, you always wanna put whatever deal, a lot of producers, they run the same deal over and over, they don't switch it. So in here, I'm acting like every time, no matter where you come to, no matter when you come to my beat store, 50% off. So you want to put that on your um, on your cover. Because you again, it's about building brands. So if an artist knows, no matter if I come to his beat store Friday or in two weeks or in four months, every time I'm always going to run up on this deal, 50% off all his beats, all right? That's part of branding. You want to make sure you put it on your uh, artwork. We're gonna size it up, make sure it's the right size. Boom, right there, right here. That right, looks good, let's make sure. See, you almost gotta be perfectly detailed. Right there. Boom, right there. So right there you see the animation behind her, your logo, which is a female, uh, rmbtracks.com, 50% off, okay? Boom, now remember, this is your template. template. That is going to be in the right-hand lower corner on every upload. Every time you have a little dirt type beat, uh, a Rod Wave, a Young Boy type beat, no matter what, that logo is going to be in that same spot every time. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to drag it. Boom. That's how easy it is right there. Now again, you want to make sure you take some dope pictures no matter what. That logo is right there. Let's think of another, here, let's grab another one. That's got perfect size for it. I'm gonna take this one and drag it. Boom, okay? So again, today you uploading a little dirt type beat. Tomorrow you're uploading a ride wave type beat. No matter what. So like, let's say if this is ride, let's say if this was a, a Nipsey Hustle type beat. We're gonna grab it. Boom, there's a Nipsey Hustle picture type, but no matter what, your logo is always right there, okay? You wanna take a picture of me, wrong type beat, boom. 
it's always right there. So this right here is an example how you can use Canva as a template of every time you upload a new beat to Instagram or Facebook, your logo stays right there. And this is what's going to separate you from a lot of other producers because your logo is always going to be where it's at. You got your uh, branding as far as your 50% off with your beat store all the time. You got the title of where they can go, uh, rnbtracks.com, and then you have your logo, all right? So this is how you can create a brand around what you're doing online, all right? So this is your boy, Ron, the producer. Don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube at Ron, the producer, and on Instagram at Ron, the producer. Until then, peace.